So uh, here we go. So here it is. I'm gonna cover oh, my address well, me, I'm back here. Hold on, let me remove all this oh. stuff first because <laughs> yeah, tell me. Tell I was like, this could be a really tiny unveiling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is we gonna be kind of sad we were because talking about this. Yeah. I am going we to. I'm that. going to. Uh, oh, will it actually let me delete it from here? I think I'm just gonna try to delete it because I'm not gonna ever use these again. I think we should try to save it, but all right. Uh, actually, it's not letting me delete them all at once. Yes, I can do you that. Can just actually, do it, do it one like one at a time. No, make it famous, man. Beep. Uh, I right. unboxed the video. Oh wow! Right. Wow! Look at that. that was hey, weird. Yes. Yeah. So what's up? <laughs> so, uh, so a little uh, here you guys can see this. This is from the shoemart.com. This is not sponsored. They did not give me these for free. <laughs> oh, you didn't buy uh, them or, or any. Yeah, I paid for these. Um, so the reason why I did Shoe Mart is because um, no tax. Yeah. That's that's the answer. No and tax. He's, he's a libertarian, so <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you know, I, I don't I don't want any theft or slavery. <laughs> so that's uh, that's what that's apparently as an, as a libertarian is what it equates to slavery yep. is taxes. Um, but no, um, <laughs> I couldn't even commit. Um, but. <laughs> So the shoe, uh, the thing is, so if I bought directly from like Alda, the Alda store, there is an Alda store in California, so I'd have to pay tax. If I bought it from the from Brogue, uh, which is a great store in the Menlo Park, or I bought it from the Bloke, which is kind of doing remote stuff, I think they're just kind of selling off their their stock because they they don't re- technically exist as a storefront anymore. Um, also tax. So uh, I was like, you know what? Um, all my other Aldens were also uh, given to me by friends, not for reviews or anything. They gave like, or they gave me a homey discount, not an exchange for anything. But these ones were going to be like my purchase. So, oh, as nice. a person, yeah, as a person who had a birthday recently and only has a side job, it took me many months to save up for these. Um, but it's okay because we're not really doing anything, so <laughs> you know, oh, why not? Um, but yeah, so that's uh, that's why I went with the shoe art because it's tax free. Um, or at least I figured it out when I was going to buy them because I actually put them into the cart. And uh, yeah, I did it. And I saved like fifty bucks because if uh, you know seven fifty plus ten percent tax or whatever is like eight hundred dollars, um, yeah. or eight hundred fifteen dollars something like that. So uh, not paying that is great. I also <laughs> bought um, I also bought the black shell cordovan wax paste so I could shine these bad boys when they uh get get uh get used up because i know some people like uh shell cordovan uh because of like the patina they get after the age but i i don't really like the kind of faded like when they get almost like a cigar shell or like you know that kind of color after a couple of years i don't like that i like shell cordovan for the depth of the original color that i don't think you can get from regular calfskin because like burgundy calfskin will still look more like reddish burgundy you know and like brown will still look brown but but shell cordovan when you use the when you polish it with the paste it'll revert to its, uh, you know, like deep brown purplish color, mm-hmm. which is what I really like. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, again, if you guys in the chat want to uh, ask any questions while I do this, uh, feel free. Or yeah, who has, who has questions? Yeah. Yeah. You so identify I'm gonna, as I'm gonna a person sure. of birthdays, Jeremy asks? Uh, no, I'm a person of clout, apparently. So that's, uh, that I, is can, true. I can only identify as one thing, you yeah. know. Uh, I'm I'm uh, I'm covering my address because that's on the side that's facing me right now. So, you know. Oh, you don't uh, want you don't want people to know where you live. No, no, and we're not big enough streamers uh, to uh, to have a PO box for people to send us stuff. So, unfortunately, not there yet. so you can just send uh, everything to my house. Oh, I will be sure you know. to redirect it. Yeah, he's our PO PO box. Are yeah. you getting this like box opening <laughs> ASMR like right now? Like it's great. Of course we are. Yeah, I actually didn't hear uh, anything when you did that. I know. Yeah, I think I think the gain is set okay enough so it doesn't happen. Yeah. So I here just we got keys. the yeah keys on Van Nuys. Hey, do you guys? First off, do you guys know what keys of Van Nuys is? People outside. I don't think LA, anyone outside no. of Southern no. California. Okay. Know it. it's like it's a local yeah. ad. It's just a local. So it's a, yeah. it's a local ad uh, for you know uh, what's it called? Is it Barbara Ann? The song Bar- like blah 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 blah. Uh, yeah, it sounds famous. yeah. Right. It's that for keys, uh, but the keys on Van Nuys. keys on Van Nuys because it's on yeah. Van Nuys Boulevard. Uh, so yep. there it is, the black, the black fine wax paste. Look at that. There it is. Cool, cool there little tin. Yeah, I, like, I like how the uh, it's black. It's black. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh, what a revelation! Uh, so progressive. <laughs> I know. Um, I like how like the the paste for shell cord was like five dollars, which actually isn't bad. 
but I wish that the the, the material get like a sharpie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just get a sharpie and do it. <laughs> you know? that's, all, that's all you need to do. All right, here we go. Size seven D. Tassel seven mock D is tournament, So <laughs> there you go. So watch this money shot. You guys hey. can watch. There's that I famous know. green box everyone loves. That famous green box. There it is. There it yeah. is. You know, I remember. Um, what's it called? Um, fuck. Talk about forgetting. So you don't remember. <laughs> he doesn't uh, remember anything. No, who's the who's the <laughs> guy at at Drake's on Savile Row? Is kind of like he's guy who does like Brazilian jiu jitsu. Um, oh, uh, Ben Benjamin. Ben Ben yeah Ben. Uh, he there was a part like a while back when I first started following him. He's like uh, he follows he me just, now. Oh, good. Uh, Thank he's a really you. nice guy. Um, but like he had a uh, like a whole like section of his like I guess apartment, and it's just all these boxes. And hey, if you worked at Drake's and you got half off Aldens, uh, I would do that too. So, oh, absolutely. You know. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, but like here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna unbox it here. Custom boot makers. I didn't get boots though. So sorry, sorry, Alden Army. Too huh. bad. Over here. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Here it is. Thank, Thank you. you. I like this. 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 Uh, imp- uh, it was. Uh, but it was signed by whoever they inspected it. It says here, tips on how to properly try on your shoes. Use a shoehorn when putting the shoes on. This will help prevent damage to the counter. What's the counter? Counter? It's where the, the... heel is. Oh. It's that one burger <laughs> place. This is, this is also why I never wrote about. Like, this is why I am not like a bespoke reviewer, like at like like uh, like uh, what's a permanent style? Because like I don't know. I just <laughs> I just know the, I just know the sound it makes when it kills someone. So uh, <laughs> you know. uh, try the shoes. On shoes. Yeah, <laughs> all I use them to kill people. Uh, try the shoes on on a clean carpeted floor. Hey, that's all I have in my house. Uh, this will help protect the soles from scratches and markings. When trying to determine if your size is correct, try to walk naturally with minimal flexing in the foot, which will help prevent creasing. Well, what if my natural walk... Flexed. Yeah, it's, it's a big <laughs> flex. Big creases, yes. Yeah, <laughs> it's a big yeah. flex. Big we, bend, hope, yeah. we hope you uh, enjoy your new shoes. Please note this order can only be restocked if there is no evidence of try-on. Like, at all. Uh, they're gonna, they're, gonna, mark swab out they're gonna swab it for DNA. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, they're they're gonna find your that. cum. I'll talk about shoes. Uh, well, I guess I'll do it right now. So when I, um, you know, a couple of weeks ago, we were um, looking through some old blog posts on the, you know, like 2015, where I tried out Trunk Club. And um, I don't know if I said this while we were doing it, but they sent me a pair of like desert boots or something like that, which had like a leather outsole and not a crepe outsole. Um, and I tried them on. I took pictures of them outside. This is the first time I ever got like new things or whatever. Because even then I still wore like all those shoes. I didn't really... Excuse me. Uh, take a shot. I didn't really buy buy many shoes. And then when I when I was packing them up, I noticed like, oh, I, I should make sure that they're like unworn. There's no you know there's no issues on it. Maybe scratch off the dust or whatever. Um, but I noticed there were marks on the bottom of the shoes. Hmm. And and these were like you know at the time it's not. I mean compared to now it's not that much. But like you know they were like a hundred dollar shoes, right? Like they're they're so like cheap yeah. desert boot knockoffs. But like I was like. Oh fuck! Like I knew I wasn't gonna keep anything from this from this uh, trunk club box, <laughs> but I was so scared, and I was like, "Oh fuck! What the fuck do I do? Like I can't believe it. these these shoes suck. Like they're bad." <laughs> um, if someone can find if someone can find the article and put that in there, you guys probably see it's, it. It's it was it's from um, your first month or second month. Yeah, twenty fifteen. It's like twenty fifteen, uh, like uh, January, February, or March, something like that. Yeah. Uh, like, but anyway, yeah. It was it was so you can just look up trunk club review street expressa that works too. But it was it was so bad and I was like, oh my god, like there was like a lot of little marks, like it didn't look that bad, but I'm like, oh f- they're probably not gonna accept this if I return it, right? Because it's like if they are if there's any evidence, we're just gonna charge your account, right? And it took me I don't know how long it took me, but I finally found a picture of them unworn with with like nothing on the bottom. Because I think they were also like some house brands, so they didn't really have Instagram pictures either. Yeah. Uh, but I did it, and the markings came with the shoe. Crazy really? aesthetic, crazy aesthetic choice. Because it didn't look too much like wear. It looked like That's weird, bizarre. like yeah, it's weird. But what? I was like, oh, thank God, dude. Oh man, it was crazy. It was crazy. Wow, bizarre. I got another one here from the shoe mart. Uh, with sincere appreciation, it is a pleasure to have you as our customer, friend, friends, 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 friends. friends. friends like. Friends like you help make our business possible, and we truly appreciate your support. 
We are proudly committed to customer care, and we love hearing from our customers, so please don't hesitate to contact us. As an expression of our gratitude, we have included a shoehorn with your purchase, our gift hey, to you. That's wow. a nice gift. Yeah, it's a nice, <laughs> nice gift. Uh, the classic Alden shoe bags that I never use because I don't take my shoes anywhere. Huh. I mean, I guess if I put them in here, they wouldn't get as dusty, but it's like I want to. I wear shoes. I wear my stuff a lot, so. Don't want to yeah, take them out of the bags. These ones, yeah. Dusty. Uh, I got wow, the typical thing, which came with my tassel loafers and my penny loafers in color eight. The. A uh, genuine uh, horween shell cordovan kind of thing here. Mm. You guys want to learn how to maintain your color cordovan shoes? Well, here sure. you go. Uh, always clean Help. shoes before polishing with a damp, soft cloth. If shoes are muddy, then let them dry thoroughly and brush the dirt off when dry. Number two, try to give the shoes a day of rest between wearing to allow moisture to dry out. That bit. Definitely. Definitely don't do that. <laughs> uh, your shoes will last longer. We recommend Alden Color 8 Paste Wax. If you're using another brand of wax polish, avoid red or light colors. We tend to give a two-tone look at prints uh, where polish gathers. But this is black, so I don't need Color 8 Paste Wax. Um, <laughs> use a light coat of polish. Apply it sparingly. sparingly. Uh, it will shine better and avoid buildup of residue, which is difficult to shine and collects dirt and dust. Use a shoe tree that fits the shoes gently. Avoid pressure in width or length, as this could make the fitting change considerably in the vegetable tanned cordovan leather. Now, this is interesting because my my penny my full strap penny loafers fit differently than my tassel loafers, and I have two pairs of tassel loafers. They're all they're both the Aberdeen last, but there's something about the. Uh, the penny loafers that just don't fit right. I did bring them on a trip with me, and uh, I I wore them to on like like on the plane. But on my way back, I put them in my in my bag. So I don't know if the bag made it fit different. I don't think it was that bad because I'm just you know it wasn't like cramped. But I do know they fit slightly different. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's like a factory seconds kind of thing, or I just had a bad thing. They're both Mark Seven D, um, which is my shoe size. Um, but yeah, so I don't no idea why that was the case. But. Weird. Yeah. Are they different? Are they different leathers? Or sorry, are they both shell no. in that case? They're both. they they're both shell. They're both shell. Mm. It's just I've a noticed, weird. Yeah. I've noticed because I also have again Aberdeen penny full strap and tassel um, and calf, and I kind of feel like the pennies do feel a little bit different, and I wonder mm. if it's just the i don't know how you would say it maybe like the design or the cut of the shoe that yeah. makes it yeah, yeah, yeah. feel it feels a, it feels a little tighter um on the tassel i also on the for me it's the penny that's um, that's the, that's know. opposite for me my pennies feel bigger than my <laughs> tassels that's the one crazy. thing i the one thing i do know though is like everyone thinks oh you know i pay all a, a, a not an insignificant sum for these shoes and they're expecting them to be like these perfect little jewels of uh, leather. And my experience is that a lot of these shoe companies, you're going to get some variants. Yeah. Even if it's on the same last, same brand, same leather, um, that's not too uncommon. You might, maybe on a, some like Edward Green or something, you might have less of that. Right. But I doubt it. You know, it's, they're still working with leather by hand to a certain mm -hmm. degree. So, you know, one person might maybe tighten things down a bit more than someone else would, or maybe the that per, that one hide has less or more stretch than another. It's really, um, it's not an exact science right. uh, in a lot of ways. So, um, yeah, I guess kind of like if you do experience it, it wouldn't be totally unheard of. Yeah. Um, obviously, there's going to be difference in if you use different types of leathers, too, because... Right. Suede is going to stretch differently, way yeah. more than calf. Well. Yeah, yeah. I, don't know. I mean, it's also because, like, yeah. You know, I'm looking at them uh, to my left. You're right. Um, <laughs> and you know, like, like, like the uh, the vamp on the pennies and the and the tassels are both different. You know, um, mm -hmm. but it's more of like a width thing. I mean, not, maybe not like a width per se, but like it, it's more noticeable. Like if I wear wear them sockless, like the uh, the pennies feel too big to wear sockless. Um, and of course, now they flex enough and they stick to my foot, so I can wear them sockless. But um, but yeah, it's just a weird, it's a weird thing. The shoes, who who would have known? We talk uh, so much we about um, pennies, but we don't talk about the national shortage of uh, pennies. 
That's right. They're not even yeah. real copper, dude. <laughs> yeah, not even real copper. Yeah. Uh, the Let's skinny talk about how pennies are worth less than a penny. Yeah, exactly. True. Uh, yeah, hallway hallway ninja says the skinny jeans are prop call. <laughs> and MJ brings up the Asian uh, Tumblr face, which do you guys know what that is? I mean, you, it's in the it's in the article, but <laughs> it's where you it? it's where you smile and you you kind of like you don't squint your eyes, but like you raise your eyebrows and your eyes a little bit. So it's like you're like. You know, okay. like, I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying okay. to do it on this. Yeah, you see I've it on those it. pictures. It. Yeah, <laughs> that is very like you know, like like high school, college age, like fuck yeah, Asian cuties, fuck yeah, Filipino cuties <laughs> type of thing. <laughs> Hashtag Filipino uh, yeah. cuties. All right, here yeah. we go. You guys ready? I'm gonna take Dude. it out now. Ooh, take it out of the box. Ooh, take it out. Take it out. Ooh. Ooh, got the tapes, tassels, Damn. and everything. Oof! Damn, black. Like, yeah, spit on it. This is so good. Make it. <laughs> Taste uh, it. Got a uh, metal. Wow, this, now this is. You like, want a metal? Yeah. Hey, this is a metal uh, shoe shoehorn. Which you I should wear. Not... You should wear that around your neck. Yes. <laughs> um. Yeah. Seven BD six six four baby. That's it. That's the. That's them. This is it right here. Very nice. That's, that's over here. Very. That's what Borat would say actually. Um, Very nice. Right over here. Go for the liquor. And then I'm gonna the put, uh, get the other one out now. Woo! So how does that one compare to the other one? Uh, it's well, you know, you know the thing where like if it's your right hand, your fingers are a certain way. Uh, yeah. So it's like that. It's it's just reversed. If, if you had to sense. rank the two shoes. <laughs> 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 if you had to rank those, oh, yeah, huh? which one would be on top? If you could only save one in a five, <laughs> which one? Would and you me? also lose one leg. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> which know, leg and is, which shoe are you keeping? Yeah. They can be different. The they, funny thing is, I'd probably pick the right foot because I don't, I don't know, I don't know why. You just like it. Just like, yeah, I just like it. But here they are. What about the left foot? What's wrong with isn't the left it, foot? Isn't it true, guys, that uh, shoes for a rather long time were not made uh, specifically for the left or the right foot? Yeah, I've heard that. Um, yeah, I don't know that for sure, but I mean, could be right. Some sense. Like, Wait, holy what? Shit, these look good. They weren't made for like a specific it was, foot. It was just kind of like a shape that your foot. It was just like, yeah. So it was just right. Like, for, like, yeah. Work boots. It's just. Uh, uh, yeah. But this, I mean, this yeah, is going back like a, this is going back like a long time. Like uh, okay, like, this, I'm is, like, this is not like, like oh, back up until like nineteen like seventy three, <laughs> when like, shoe sizes weren't there. no. This there was, were no shoes. This was like back. This was like a couple centuries ago at least. Wikipedia uh, says until about eighteen hundred. So okay, yeah. Two hundred and twenty years ago, like a generic like rounded shape yeah. for like. Your so like yeah, everything was like just like your. Yeah. Okay. That's People had the... straighter feet back then. I can't. I, I, well, I can't wrap my head around that. I, I that feel seemed... every time. I mean, it's like I feel like at some point there have been shoemakers that have been like, "Oh, we should probably make them uh, shapes like your feet." Maybe they just were, were, other that... people were like, "No." Maybe they, were like they ahead just of their like time. it was. Yeah, exactly. They were ahead of their times. Everyone else like that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Um, I mean, you could be like for leather each working, one of your feet. Leather working technology. <laughs> Oh, we get a cat oh. on stream. That's adorable. Yeah, there's like square sandals. So yeah, be, yeah. that's what I was thinking. It'd be sandals, right? Yeah, like, that would be the first shoe. Maybe. Yeah, because the Roman uh, like legionnaires wore sandals, right? Yeah, Roman soldiers. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know any of this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you were a Roman? And so you you, you played Assassin's Roman. Creed. You should know this. Um, I mean, I don't. I yeah. ring five fingers. And we're the world's most advanced shoe. That's right. Yeah. It's I'm we're we're all talking. We're all talking about this like very like authoritatively. Come here for the education. <laughs> yeah, okay. we know ex yeah. we know exactly what shoes were like a couple thousand. World's years ago. oldest shoe was discovered in Armenia in 2008, and it's 5,500 years old. Good for those Armenians. One I thought you, I thought yeah, you were saying shoes better. were discovered in Armenia. I was like, uh, what? Is that the end well, of the? Is that the unboxing? Yeah, that's 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 it. I mean, you know, so if I want to talk into why I got these, a little oh wait, bit, really yeah. quick. Look, I'm that's okay. I'm playing the uh, video game Ethan. Beep, <laughs> beep. It sees the video game. Wow. <laughs> and that's why you. That's yeah. why you come to the stream, folks. This is why. This is why you show, guys come. Show your karate chop action. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> this kind of uh, clean family fun. Anyone, anyone can enjoy this. Yeah. It's one of those games where you can buy all and un- unbox them. Yeah, exactly. yeah. With your, you can buy them with our in-game currency. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is, we, that we does really not do add up stuff. nearly close to a dollar. But it can be bought with real currency, though. It's one of those games. <laughs> Yeah, we'll still take it. Um, yeah. yeah, if you guys are wondering why I got these, it's um, so obviously there's a whole article on like why I eventually started to buy Aldens or, you know, started to invest more and just buying Allen Edmonds used. I mean, I, I bought like vintage Allen Edmonds, which are better than the modern ones, but of course, like lasts and, and quality will not compare to Alden. Uh, but in terms for the black tassel, I don't know, like I've, I've had, I, uh, I have color eight. Uh, shell cordovan tassels and pennies. I have a full strap pe- calfskin penny from Allen Edmonds, but I also have uh, calfskin tassel loafers. And lately, I don't know if it's the uh, kind of like 70s inspiration. It could also be like, you know, I like wearing a lot more black now because uh, it's punk rock, um, to quote a friend. Um, <laughs> uh, but, you know, I, I, I found myself wearing my black penny loafers a lot more. You know, when you wear the shell cord, or even just like the Aberdeen last shell, uh, the Aberdeen last tassel loafer, and you go to wearing like an Allen Edmonds Grayson, it's like night and day, right? Like you can just really tell it's not the right one. Um, there's also considerably more toe spring in the Allen Edmonds one. Toe it's spring. not a lot, but toe spring, uh, yeah, we're not, we're not a big fan of very big toe spring. Um, so yeah, I was like, you know what? If I really want to start wearing more black outfits, I'm going to need to wear black loafers. You know, Blouches. and it was one of those things where it's like, oh, do I not wear black because I don't have enough black like shoes to get like, good black shoes to go with it or because I don't like it. So and I eventually I found out, you know, I do like wearing black shoes. So uh, pretty early on, like maybe like in like, I don't know, like March was after March, April. I was <laughs> like, you know, what, I'm going to start saving <laughs> up. Uh, yeah. uh, I'm going to start black saving up matter. for these. Uh, for these shelf carbon because also I, you know, Kiyoshi, I think it's like one of our first conversations too, where we talk about how like shell cordovan just has like a richer color, you know, for compared mm-hmm. to uh calfskin, especially like, you know, in dark stuff like black where, you know, uh, black shoes fade over time. Uh, all shoes will fade over time because, you know, they're leather, they're skin, but we all fade calf over skin time. fades differently than, than shell cordovan. And again, I want it to be this really dark, dark black color and of course shell cordovan has like the kind of rolling they're not really wrinkles they're just rolls after each crease and wear so i wanted that for sure and uh yeah so now i have really good black tassel loafers that i can wear with anything you know i want to wear it with some like navy suits with like some turtlenecks wear it with some uh loop collar shirts i'm also getting a black fedora that was custom made that i ordered a long time ago too that is finally being finished and it's like, you know, with a black fedora, your options are kind of limited. And I don't think you can wear a black fedora with brown shoes. Like, it's kind of like you got to lean into, like, the kind of dark palette. Yeah. So investing in the black shoe. I have important. those black, uh, like, lug-sold loafers that I absolutely love. Are those oh, that's from, right. Uh, where are those from? Uh, they're Weegeons. Hmm. Yeah, and they're that's really right. cool. You do like Very your Weegeons. I do. They're so cheap. <laughs> uh, breaking news, guys! Yeah. The Rock uh, and his family have yeah, tested positive that. for COVID nineteen. No, I think they, they tested positive and they've already gone through it. I think uh, we're getting rid of Big Ethan. Everyone say bye, Big Ethan. Bye, bye Big, Big Ethan. Ethan. Bye, bye, Big bye, Ethan. Big Ethan. Yeah, Let's gone. get. Uh, this is three hours game. ago. Thank you, thank you for joining us for that. Uh... Two of their daughters tested positive. Damn! I swear to God, yeah. if this thing kills The Rock. I'm. That's it. Well, it says they're all on the other side of the virus. Yeah, now. so I think they're they're everything. Oh, they had had it, and then yeah, they, now they're they, saying. By the way, yeah, he didn't reveal it while they had it. Gotcha. He, re- he revealed that they went through it. Well, so. thank God. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It's all behind them. They said they've uh, yeah, they just reposed now. They had it, us. but they've made a full recovery. They're on the winning right. side. That wasn't so, when I, that 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 person in the hospital bed with COVID. That wasn't me, man. It's all, that's all behind me. By the fine. way, uh, since we're on the subject of Dwayne Johnson, uh, of course, okay. guys. Yeah, you, you only lived twice. The uh, <coughs> driver, the uh, the guy who plays the driver. You, yeah. you know, you, you know that was uh, Dwayne Johnson's granddad. Oh no, kidding! 
Yeah. Yeah, I forgot that tidbit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Pisa Mavia. When funny. I saw it, I was. Yeah, it's all it family wild. wrestlers. Yeah. yeah, his dad was a wrestler too. Uh, uh, was it Rocky Johnson? Right. Yes. Yeah, Rocky Johnson was his dad. Yeah. Uh, and wait, and then and dad. then the Rock Johnson. It, yeah, you you get it. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. get it. <laughs> yeah. Can uh, you smell? What the rock? Let's just watch some. Smack wait, where was he called the Pebble Johnson? I hate I hate those jokes. I hate those jokes so much. Those are, those are stupid. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys for watching the uh, unboxing. We might uh, do some more of those in the future if we buy more yeah. things. Maybe I'll do, I, I'll I, do it for like, my hat or something. I don't I know. Got, I, got, I got something coming in on Friday, but I don't think we're going to... I'm going to wear them on Saturday, so <laughs> you'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah I guess we could, we could do a special unboxing. We could, uh, I we should do it for like, sandals. We should do today. like new. We should do it for like or, new things. Or know? we could do. Or I mean, that would uh, maybe oh, again maybe new. off, Never mind. off stream topic, mm -hmm. but or talk, but uh, uh, like Instagram Live we could do that. Oh yeah, a little little bonus con right there. Yeah. Um, okay. Hey, so you, we uh, so before the stream, I was busy setting up that beautiful graphic you saw, but I didn't get a <laughs> chance to uh, fill up my water. Uh, it's now empty, so I'm gonna go do that right quick. So I guess I'm gonna vamp now. Uh, but I didn't yeah, even hear what you just said. <laughs> We're all vamping. 